we're not going to talk about Corona. <laughs> Even though it's going to be really difficult because that is all I'm seeing everywhere. Uh, currently deciding in my brain whether we're going to talk about Corona or not. I don't want to. I don't want to make this another place where we talk about it. I want to get away from thinking about it because that's all everybody is thinking about 24-7. The blood pressure around the earth average has skyrocketed and we're just not going to get into that um so what can we talk about i probably should have thought of a, a different topic that i could talk about right now but i'm going to be honest i don't have one so i'm going to stall and take a sip of this coffee this beautiful liquid blackness oh. can i tell you first two things one Drinking coffee with glasses sucks because every time you exhale, you know when you're like going to take a sip of coffee and you're inhaling so that when the, the liquid hits your lips, it can be cooled. So you go, but you're afraid for the liquid to touch your lips. So you're going really slow. And sometimes the liquid doesn't hit your lips by the time you're done inhaling. So you have to go. <sighs> and then every time you exhale through your nose, your breath hits the top surface of the coffee and then just fogs up your glasses. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of weird things like that that come with glasses that make them a huge pain in the butt. Here's the other thing I don't understand. This is the, my second point. I feel like I need new glasses already. Now I will admit these are a little banged up. They're not terrible, but I mean, they could use some love, but I feel like, the difference between having glasses and not having glasses is not that different anymore. Like, I remember when I first put the glasses on when I got them, I was like, whoa, crystal. But now it's just kind of like, yeah, it's a little better. Is that a thing? Like, I, I've had glasses for probably a year now, and I already feel like my vision could be better from what it is now. I still don't want to get contacts. I, I don't really know why. I just, I don't want to have to F with contacts. I don't want to have to deal with poking, putting, first of all, I wonder how many people have contacts, but now that they're so worried, we're not talking about Corona. Oh, we almost went down that path. Oh. You know what I want to start doing? Um, I, I, I tweeted about this yesterday, just talking about playing Halo with the community, been playing games with the community, and uh, it's been Awesome. So we've been playing Halo CE and then, sorry, the last community night we were playing Halo Reach, which Halo CE is dated. And as far as like the maps and the balance and the spawning and the, 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 the features that you get with multiplayer and being able to manage settings, it's so dated and uh, it's just, there's a lot more game modes, a lot more stability. We were having a lot of crashing and connecting issues. Um, the platform for Halo on PC is bad. You have the Xbox app. You have people on Steam. You then have the Xbox companion app. You don't know whether you need to add somebody as a friend or you need to follow them. Uh, you have in-game adding as friends within Halo, but then you also have Game Bar. I will say, this is the one props that I will give to Microsoft. The Game Bar is actually really, really good. I wish that I had it up right now so I could tell you everything that's on it. When you're in a, a, a Game Pass game, Windows G brings up the game bar. You get an audio mixer, you get system resources, you get an FPS counter, you get your friends list, and it's totally modular where you can move things around. I'm actually very impressed. I gotta say, it's actually pretty good. Uh, I still need to mess with it a little bit more, um, but the whole experience of not knowing when and where to add people, the stability of Game Pass, uh, it's just, I, we've been having a lot of issues with Xbox Live lately, and then just trying to figure out, hey, are you on Steam or are you on Game Pass? It's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but other than that, I've been having a really good time playing games, and, and like I've mentioned in the past, I would really like to have one day a week that's dedicated to just playing games offline. I think... I think having that might make it so that playing games 
on stream isn't such a daunting task, but we'll see. I'm um, one of the things that I'm most curious about moving forward is right now with me not streaming, I have so much free time to do all the things. And it's not that I, I didn't have free time before. It was always just when I did have free time, I was too tired to do the things that I wanted to do. So I feel fantastic right now in this moment. I feel great. I don't know what I'm going to feel like when I try to keep up the same schedule with waking up early and exercising and meditating and in affirmations and then trying to mix in streaming into my schedule with work. I don't know how it's going to go, but I have to try it. And I already know that. Oh, sorry, buddy. I know that my schedule is already going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be able to maintain the same schedule as I did before. I'm sorry for that long S. Uh, but we're going to, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I am about 90% done with the YouTube video that I'm going to be playing at the beginning of my first stream back. It is an hour and 15 minutes. I'm sorry. So much of it. You're just not even going to care about. It's just going to be me talking. A lot of it is just talking head stuff. It's super boring, but I did it. I did it anyways. And um, I only have a couple more parts to record, and then I just kind of need to master it, and then it's done. And for anybody else that creates videos, I don't know if you go through this. Please tell me if you do. So I wrote out the script um, over the course of probably two months. I wrote out. Everything that I knew that I wanted to say, I wrote in the shots that I knew I wanted to record, um, the certain timings of things, context, emotion, all those things. So I wrote everything into the script. And then by the time I recorded like 80% of it, I went back and I was like, you know what? I probably don't need this. I probably don't need this. I, I you know, and I, I don't know if it was me trying to be lazy and just cut out work or if after I had recorded the video, set the tone and kind of got, you know, captured the energy I wanted to capture, I think that I, when I went back through my script, I noticed all these things that I just didn't think fit. But I started removing things and then I started removing more things. I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing yet. I don't know if that's a good trait of mine or a bad trait of mine. I'll know based on how, how what, it, what I feel when I watch the, the movie in its entirety after it's done. I don't know if this is me trying to clean it up. I don't know if this is me going, okay, it doesn't need to be perfect, so let's get rid of this stuff. And me adding all of this extra shit was me trying to make it perfect instead of just like just trying to create the thing. So I, I'm, I need to make more videos in order to figure out if this is a good trait or a bad trait, but I definitely went through the script and said, okay, this can go, this can go. I'm not going to record this part. I'm not going to record this part. I know a small portion of it is probably, dude, you've been working on this for months. Just get rid of some of it. Like I've been working on this for so long. It'll be fine. It'll still be good. The message you want to convey will still get out. And, uh, yeah, I need to, um, I need to finish it, but I'm close. I'm, I actually think that I can probably finish it. I probably should because I'm supposed to start streaming in a week and a half. It feels really weird to start streaming during this craziness. I'm not going to say the C word. Cunt. Uh, it just feels odd. It feels like bad timing, or I could just be telling myself that it's bad timing because I'm getting scared of returning to Twitch. Which one is it? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to stop recording this video. I'm going to upload it. I'm going to edit some Halo footage that I've been recording lately. Put up, hopefully, like some sort of clip compilation. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a run. We need to go grocery shopping today and try not to drown in anxiety. And then we're just going to relax the rest of the day. And by relax, I mean probably get in like four or five hours of work. Hopefully get some video games in. Maybe watch a movie. I need some steak. I have one New York strip left. I need to get me some 14, 14 day dry aged steak in my belly today. 10 minutes on the dot. I love you. You have a great day. Goodbye.